Oh, sorry guys, I don't know what happened. A big impact for Ferrari's Carlos Sainz as he crashed out of final practice at Zandvoort. The Spaniard thankfully stepping away unharmed, but the barriers doing an excellent job of containing the incident. The damage to his Ferrari, though, was substantial. With overtaking likely to be challenging at this unrelenting and unforgiving track, qualifying well will be crucial. So teams were putting extra emphasis on low fuel running in final practice and pushing to the limit. Lewis Hamilton kicked up the gravel in his Mercedes, keen to make up for lost time following the oil pressure problem with his power unit that restricted him to just three laps in FP2. While Sebastian Vettel, who also suffered an oil pressure issue in FP1, ran off track at turn 10, wiping out a DRS marker board in the process, and later did well to avoid following Sainz into the wall at the Hugenholzbacht. Lando Norris was quick throughout the session, which wasn't without its moments. A quick trip through the gravel enough to slow him, albeit temporarily. Haas driver Mick Schumacher was another to take an early trip to the beach, while Charles Leclerc took to the service road at turn 12. Robert Kubica was a man on a mission. After Kimi Raikkonen was ruled out overnight with a positive COVID-19 test, the former Grand Prix winner had just one hour to prepare himself for qualifying at Alfa Romeo. And the Polish driver did an exceptional job, taking P19 in final practice ahead of what will be his 98th F1 start, less than a second shy of teammate Antonio Giovinazzi. Max Verstappen sent the 70,000 fans into raptures when he set the fastest time of FP3, a 1 minute 09.623, blitzing the two Mercedes by more than half a second. Sure, he had a hand from teammate Sergio Perez with a toe through the final corner, but the marker was set and the gauntlet well and truly laid down. Neither Bottas nor Hamilton could respond, with Valtteri Bottas five tenths down and Hamilton almost a full eight tenths off his championship rival in P2 and P3. Perez rounded out the session fourth ahead of the impressive Fernando Alonso in fifth as Alpine go into qualifying full of optimism about the Spaniards' chances. Norris was sixth ahead of the Aston Martin duo of Lance Stroll and Vettel, with Leclerc P9 despite his late excursion. Pierre Gasly was 10th. Daniel Ricciardo was 11th, with Nicolas Latifi an excellent P12, one spot ahead of Esteban Ocon. George Russell made it both Williams drivers in the top 14, with Giovinazzi 15th for Alfa Romeo. Science eventually wound up 16th after his accident, ahead of Yuki Tsunoda and Nikita Mazepin, Kubica and Schumacher, 